let us start at the beginning. So we have the Queen of Swords. And this queen, if it is a person, it will be an air sign that is an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to stand for a person. And when this queen shows up, the swords are all about intellect, uh, education, communicating, things like that. Um, so it does look like, this feels more like a situation than a person to me. So it does feel like um, your creative essence has kicked in. Uh, the high priestess is here, so you may be doing a little more, more meditation. You may have joined a sangha. You may have uh, started going to church again, but this does feel like um, you are much more closer to your own intuition, um, your intellect, and that you've been communicating a little bit more than, than normal. And there may be some call for you to uh, communicate uh, to a larger body or a group. So you may have some information that is really important for others, and you may be asked to share, mentor, or um, gift uh, your knowledge to others. And it is higher knowledge that you have. Uh, so it's something that you're either specialized in or it is a passion. And that's what it feels like. It feels like you're um, asked to uh, mentor or um, coach or <laughs> be in a role of authority, a teacher type of role. Uh, the high priestess is here. It does feel like you're getting more and more in touch with the spiritual side of you. Uh, that can be wandering back into church, joining a sangha as well. Um, throwing cards, reading self-help books, getting into therapy. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to do with God. It is really just connecting with the spirit of who you are, um, really getting more in tune with your, um, with your intuition and really listening to the goddess of your heart, God of your heart, or, um, what resonates with you and in you, making choices for you, um, not just making it better for everybody else. I know Virgos, you are the big mama loves, uh, mama and daddy loves. Um, most earth signs are, <laughs> but it does look like you're getting more and more uh, in touch with your own true soul information and your own true desires. It looks like uh, for many years, you made things better for other people, um, but it does look like now you're focusing a lot on what makes things better for you. Um, it doesn't look like you're neglecting the people in your life, but it does look like you're making you a little bit more of a focus than you have in the past, actually. So um, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, so good for you. Good for you. Uh, moving forward, we have the Two of Swords. It does look like you may have been a little protective of your heart recently. You may, you may have taken a hit either in a marriage or a relationship or a past relationship completing. This could be signing uh, or finalizing divorce. Uh, but it does look like you're a little protective over your heart and your things and keeping things inside. Uh, for those of you who are not going through a separation, you may have been uh, pulling back from uh, connecting with others in an intimate way or even actually pulling away a little bit from your current partner are just really not interested in connecting at the heart at this time. You may be focused on something else. And it can show um, a little neglect for your heart. Somebody might have been a little neglectful to your heart, so you're uh, protecting it is what I'm feeling on this one. But it does look like you have pulled back a little bit from someone. Um, the Six of Pentacles is here. Yes, that is about money. It is about balance. It can be about gifting others. Um, it also can um, stand for getting your finances in, into balance, into a little bit more workable shape, uh, paying off student loans, um, finishing legal matters. Um, it also can mean to be discriminative when others are asking you for financial help. If it's if you truly believe they deserve it and they haven't squandered away their money and gotten into a pickle um, because of lack of responsibility, I would say be discerning. So um, be very discerning, but fair if you gift others with a monetary uh, either help or gift. Um, but it does look like somebody comes to you for money um, a lot without 
kind of try to clean it up themselves. It is in the past position, so it does look like this may be, have come to an end, that you were able to say, mm, you know, this is the third time you're not been able to pay your rent because you went to this concert or you did that. Um, so it does look like you have pulled back some financial help from someone that really was being irresponsible. Um, but for others, it can mean just getting your finances in balance and there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You've paid off some student loans. You've made your final child support payment. You, you know, paid your um, friend off that, that loan or your mortgage payment, something like that. Um, I don't want to be too specific, but um, it, it does look like finances are clearing up and it does look for those of you who, who have been financially helping like a grown child that can take care of themselves. It does look like that gravy train has either slowed down or stopped. Good job, Virgo. All right, Ten of Wands. I know this came up for you a couple of months ago, so I know you've been working on it as well. Mm. Ten of Wands, it does feel like your burden is a little great right now. You may be um, transitioning from one job to another. You may be retiring. It does feel like one thing going from another. Um, so you're, it does feel like your workload may be a little bit heavier than normal. You're juggling things. Um, it can also mean the home front. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but it does look like your load is a little heavy right now. So prioritize um, to lighten your load. If you know, if we have, if we're juggling too much stuff, lots of things fall by the way by the wayside as well as you create dis-ease or illness in your body because you're strapped you are so spread so thin that you have nothing to give to yourself so um this high priestess is showing up here to remind you give to yourself it's crossing you so it's a challenge for you it's a challenge to really completely focus 100 percent on yourself it doesn't mean you're selfish it doesn't mean that you're an egotist it doesn't mean you're a narcissist it means you're taking care of yourself um, and a lot of times we have to take care of ourselves um, in order to be the best parent, the best wife, the best husband, the best friend. You know, if we haven't taken care of our own needs, how can we take care of others? And that's basically what she's showing up here for. But it does look like that you're spread pretty thin, that you're doing a lot of different projects. You could even have more than one job, plus something at home that is requiring your attention, your money, your time, and your effort. So see if you can um, minimize some of this multitasking. It really feels like, yes, you are getting things done, but it also also feels like you're having to do some do-overs because you don't have enough time to really focus on one thing. So see if you can prioritize or delegate some of these other things that aren't necessarily yours. You just pick them up because they needed to be done. So delegate if you can, Virgo. The Fool is here. This is the beginning of things. So it does feel like you are uh, headed into a brand new direction. Um, I, I have a couple Virgo friends that are retiring and they're moving into a, a new business, something that they've always wanted to do, a creative essence, uh, something that, that has always been in their heart, but they didn't have time because they were working for the man. So um, that can be what's happening for you as well, Virgo, but there's new beginnings and you've had such aha moments and really changed a lot of things over the last 12 to 18 months. So there is some really new beginnings. This can be, you know, finally getting that cabin you've always wanted to get or building it or having enough finances finally to travel to where you've always wanted to do. But this is feeling like a dream come true, something you've held in your heart for a long time and you had to wait for a brand new beginning and you had to wait for all of the things from the past to either be resolved or off your plate for you to really start. And it feels like baby steps. So if this is a new endeavor um, with your business, just baby steps and a lot of patience. Um, okay, having said that, we have the Five of Wands upside down. And the Five of Wands sometimes is a tumultuous card. It was like when somebody is backing you in the corner, they're being real staticky, kind of nasty. Well, this is upside down. So this does feel like there has been a resolution to maybe um, a disagreement, a difficulty, um, a manipulation, something that has been out of balance. It does feel like it's getting more and more in balance as you speak your truth with love and kindness. It does 
does feel like the situation was not created by you, but it was uh, kind of caught up by you. So this could be a family dynamic that the family's all looking to you to resolve. You know, no one gets along with great aunt Minna except for you. So you got to take her kind of thing. It does feel like their communication has happened as a positive resolution has happened um, that has been kind of in the wings for a while. So it does look like things are settling down a little, but it did take a little tough love on your part, Virgo, to say, hey, this is the reality. I know I'm loving and nurturing, but this is all our responsibility. Or you're old enough to take care of yourself, move out. Or I've always wanted to live in Nebraska, I'm moving, you know? <laughs> so it does look like um, some dissidents or some tumultuousness, some arguing was happening that you were kind of in the middle of, and it does look like it is resolved or resolving. And it does look like there was a little bit more equity than once believed there would be. The seven of pentacles is here. These are choices. Um, this can be money things, material things. This can, this kind of validates the movements of other projects that you have here. This is very project and self project oriented reading here. Uh, so it does look like those seeds that you planted early on, maybe in the uh, spring are now starting to bloom. And now you have some choices on which directions to do things, whether this is with a uh, business or personal, or, um, you know, it could even be a mentor, a mentor program of some kind, but it does look like all that hard work you did and all the cleanup you did over the last couple of months is finally starting to pay off. And you have some viable choices that would really facilitate your growth and your happiness, not just everyone else's. So the three of wands is here. That is really about letting go of the things that don't work for you releasing people from any obligation that doesn't work for them as well as you. It's also prioritizing. It's also uh, getting your focus down. It can mean you have to wait a little bit for something to manifest. This also can be uh, travel over water or near water or traveling to water. Uh, but I'm feeling that this is something in the future that you've been planning for. And now that some of this money stuff has has resolved itself. Now you may be able to save for a rainy day. And this is coming into vision a little bit more and more as time moves on. So, uh, and then the culmination card here is temperance. This is one of balance. So it does look like you've looked at things honestly over the, like the 12, uh, last 12 or 18 months. It does look like you've been able to resolve things. Something is coming to me um, that your health is a little bit more balanced. So you may have had some health scares or uh, some extra attention on your health over the last couple of months or, you know, had to start taking medication for something that you weren't aware of, something like that. It does feel like things are a little bit more balanced and this is giving you a little more peace of mind. This, um, light at her crown chakra or in her sixth chakra is lighting up for me as well. So it does feel like with the high priestess and the temperance card that you have found some spiritual balance and some um, kind of a, uh, a softer place inside of you. Uh, for you. It feels like you're being less critical of yourself and others, that you are uh, much more neutral to others' opinions, and that you are finding your balance not only emotionally, but physically as well as spiritually. So good job, Virgo. I know that was uh, something you've been working on for a while. Nine of Wands is here. This is... Um, also, this wands are a lot of energy, wands are a lot of movement, so you may have had to prioritize and let some things go from the past or just put them in the back for a minute. Uh, this may be demands on you, people demanding your time, and when you just want to focus on one thing, and it does look like you have your major choice, you've narrowed your focus, um, and that burden is getting lighter and lighter as you make these decisions. Uh, this is in the present time position, so it does look like you have, you are prioritizing now and that there will be some great benefits from really um, honing in on one thing at a time. So with this Nine of Wands, it is a very creative card, but it does kind of demand some extra attention or singular attention is what I'm feeling. 
The last card here is the Ten of Pentacles. This is also the I'm getting my money right. I um, have a little bit more abundance. Things are coming to you. You're being able to manifest into the physical world from the headspace into the physical world. So all these desires that you've been working on, um, it's getting clearer and clearer and clearer. And as you put it out in the universe with faith and certainty, it's really manifesting. You're getting validated. With the more faith you have and the more certainty you have in your own creations, the more energy you put into your endeavors and not everybody else's wildest dreams, but yours, the more successful it is. Um, and, and that is coming true right now. That is coming true. So the more work you do for your greatness, the further it will propel you into the manifestation stage. So those are your general messages, Virgo, for the month of October. I'm going to throw a couple of these chakra cards. Usually they validate what's going on in the main reading. Here, that one. It's looking funky. Insecurity. All right, so it does look like vacillating back and forth between insecurity and your perception. Your perception has changed. You may be a little insecure about how... Uh, the next steps are going to look since your perception and your perspective has changed so much. You're doing things differently. You may be just a little unaware of, of the next step and maybe a little bit insecure on, um, on, on this new endeavor. It is brand new to you. So you are like a babe in the woods. So of course you feel a little nervous, a little insecure. Don't let that stop you from having faith in yourself.